Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, it's been about a month. Um, I've got probably nearly a week's worth of growth. Um, <clears throat> this summer so far has been sucking as far as stuff going on with the family. I'll get a little bit into that. Uh, more into that in the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're going to be shaving with and doing for the shave. Um, I have a new subscriber I'd like to uh, give a shout out to and it is Dogs Cross Street. Um, his name is Jeff. His YouTube handle is My Name is Jeff. Or no, they call me Jeff. It's either one. I can't remember. Sorry, Jeff, if I screwed it up, I apologize. But it's either they call me Jeff or my name is Jeff. Um, anyways, but anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're using. For the razor, Jeff was telling me that he would really like to one day get himself a Gillette Slim Adjustable. If I had a second one, man... Uh, just laying around I'd send it to you but I don't so for this shave using my J2 1964 yeah 1964 second quarter Gillette slim adjustable the blade in it is the Gillette seven o'clock green um, it gave me irritation on that first shave in my last video, um, but the next time I used it, uh, I didn't get hardly any irritation at all. So, you know, uh, I guess it's kind of like a feather in that way, in that regard. Anyways, but the brush, got it soaking here in my Skull Goblet Soaker. And it is this one, my Heritage Shaving Collections, Simon 77-5. What's that? And the knot in it is a is the um, Heritage Shaving Two Band Finest Badger uh, Bulb Fan Knot. Uh, as you can see, how it fans out, and the tips are gelled. It's a really great knot. The soap, I actually won on CD Shaven Murphy's channel. He ended up going ahead and getting a soap and after shave set um, off of the razor company. I don't know how much it cost. I forgot to look it up. Um, and he had a giveaway for an unused set. Normally he gives the person that wins two, three days to contact them. He gave this person a week. They never contacted him, which was too bad for them, but good for me because he had a second drawing and he drew my name. And it is AA Shaving. I don't know if that's the right way up. Kisco or Kisco, I believe. And it's like 40 or 60 grams. And, you know, so just about a little over, I think it's 60 grams, so a bit over two ounces. Oh, the scent is wonderful. I don't remember all the scent notes, but it's got um, oak moss. I believe it's black oak moss. Um, tonka bean, I think amber, um, coffee, some other things in it. Uh, it just smells really, really good. And of course, we will be topping it off with the matching aftershave. Anyways, and they also, when you get a soap from AA Shaving, let me find it. Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? There it is. They tape to the inside of the lid for scooping a guitar pick. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be whipping up a lather in my Timeless 
lather bowl. And this is not a my this is not a mild scent as far as the strength. It's got pretty good scent strength on it. There we go. Got a nice little blob of it there. Put the pick aside. Smash that down. All right. Put a little bit of warm water on it. And start working up a lather. Anyway, so since my last video, um, a few days, like three days after I posted my 4th of July shave, so three days after the 4th of July, I get a call from my father's second wife, and she tells me, your dad's in the hospital with COVID. And of course, I'm like, oh crap. Uh, my dad's going to be 80 on his birthday. So of course, I'm like kind of freaking out. So I get hold of him and um, he had fallen in his trailer. He, he was staying in a fifth wheel in a trailer park. Um, and uh, he had fallen and he was down for several hours, I think, she said, when they got to him. Because uh, she, they still keep in touch because they have a child in common. Or they have, you know, my sister. Look at that. Nice thick ladder. And uh, so they stay in touch. Let me wet the face. And uh, where was I? But anyways... So I get hold of him, you know, talk to him. Luckily, he wasn't on a ventilator. He had had his vaccines and all that. And, uh, but he was in there for several days. And now he's out. So I got to give him a call tomorrow, see how he's doing. Um, so... Also, while my dad was in the hospital, my brother calls up, and my niece had tested positive for COVID. So, my brother and sister-in-law, they're watching their granddaughter for my niece, and so she could deal with this COVID and get over it. And, and then my brother's all tells me that my sister-in-law has COVID. And I'm like, oh man. And luckily she didn't get hospitalized over it. And then my brother, he comes down with COVID. So and it's just been so freaking hot here. It's been getting up around 110, 100, and, you know, a uh, really hot day here is like 113, so I ain't been feeling much up to doing videos, I've just been trying to keep from dying in the heat. Yeah, if you don't have one of these heritage shaving brushes. Um, they're really good. You can get them on West Coast Shaving. That's where I got this one. And I got it at like 15% sell off. So it was like 85. Or a little more than 85.
think I'm going to add just a little bit too much water. But I forget who originally made this brush um, back in the 30s. But there was a straight razor maker that was quite famous over in Germany called Karl Monkhaus. So that company went ahead and, you know, kind of gave them props by making the first Simon brush. And, um, and it just happens to be one that Heritage Shaving was like, hey... That looks like a really, really cool brush, so we'll do it. Alright, um, the slim is set on 9. Now, if you don't have one of these Gillette adjustables, and you go to adjust it, or when you close the silo doors, the butterfly doors or barn doors, um, you just turn it until it goes all the way down, then you give it a quarter twist and it locks the doors down. And whenever you go to adjust it, you have to crack the doors open some. So, here we go. First pass with the grain. And that blade is cutting really good. Oh, this is a nice slick soap. Oh yeah, the slim's taking it down real nice. I've been watching the videos. I still need to watch another cut above video and shooting the shave. Um, their tribute shaves to Frank Stromberg, um, who just recently passed away. Well, I guess he passed away about a month or so back. So, but mm, got some lather down on my shirt. Dang it. Hang on, guys. One thing I did notice about this soap and aftershave was the scents are a bit different when um, you smell them. Um, the uh, Aftershave has more of that coffee note in it. And it's got some pretty good, pretty decent, eh, decent residual slickness. Anyway, it's gonna rinse off. One sec, guys. I'll take pull off my vape. Juice I'm using is s'mores. I forget who makes it, but it's pretty good. And take a drink of ice water. Pro tip. If you're young and you're moving out into your own place and you need cups, just go to Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, whatever. Um, they work pretty good for home use too. But yeah, so... It is sad about Frank um, uh, 
I've seen a few of his videos in the past, and uh... oh man, I need more soap or more lather here. There we go. But this knot, it's got some pretty decent backbone. Yeah, I had too much water. This, this lather is too thin. But it's still getting the job done. I'm going to have to add some more soap to the bowl. Let's go down one. Down to eight. Pretty much on my neck, I was going against the grain in the middle, but here on the sides, where it goes whoop, whoop, it works for across the grain. One thing I like about the slim over the fat boy, which I have in 1959 second quarter or E2 fat boy, and that is getting. under the nose with the slim or the fat boy because it, uh, with this slimmer profile on the head it uh, definitely definitely makes it easier to get under the nose and it's off all right gonna go for the third pass Yep, definitely gonna have to put some new lather, I mean, fresh soap in the bowl and lather it up for my head shave.
But it's a decent soap. It's a decent soap. Um, I have no problems with it. It's giving me, you know, slickness and all that stuff. So, all right. So let's go down to seven. All right, lock it down. Against the growth. What? What happened to the blade? Holy crap, my blade fell out. One oh, minute, guys. Here it is. The heck. Somehow I managed to drop my blade in my la in my uh, rinsing bowl. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's working better. Talk about a blooper. Man, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta add some more soap. All right, guys, almost done. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and add some more to my face. There we go. That's the ticket. That's the stuff right there. Better leather, better leather consistency too. And as much water this time. There we go. That's good. That's good layer protection right there. I just set some up my nose. Ah, uh, sets up the snaz. Anyways, how's the joys of wet shaving? So, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's go. Yeah, that's better. Much better. And the one thing I do like about the fat boy over the slim adjustable is, I don't know, just, the fat boy feels better in the hand, I guess. I've got long fingers, so. I like a little chunkier handle. But some of my razors, they, you know, their handles are definitely um, thinner. But it is what it is, so. Tuesday, I go in for a colonoscopy, yay. I am not looking forward to that one at all. I'm glad they knocked you out for that. Uh, that's for sure. But, when you have ulcerative colitis, like I do, or like I do, It's part of your life.
it back up to nine to get the last little bits. go good enough not gonna chase BBS on my chin anyways rinse off be back for the album all right got rinsed off do the album a little bit of irritation not bad Like it was that first shape with that seven o'clock green. All right. Go ahead, let this set for a few minutes, for a minute. I'll rinse off and I'll see you guys back here for the post. Hey guys, anyways, the shave came out great. As you can see, my face, actually, since the hair is kind of sucked in, um, pretty good. Not quite as good here as I want it. Uh, my main trouble spot down on my neck, that's mostly gone. But anyways, um, yeah, I was recording the post-shave and the video cut off. And my phone's like, hey, storage is full. So I had to delete some stuff that I didn't need. So, yeah. So... I'm not going to be doing the post shave because I already did it. But anyways, the razor worked great. The blade, um, pretty decent. Uh, that was its last shave. I do three shaves and then the blade goes bye-bye. Um, but other than that, it did great. Um, the aftershave balm, it was either Bulldog or... Every Man Jack, I can't remember which one. Um, of course, T. Dickinson, Witch Hazel. Um, and the aftershave was absolutely wonderful. The scent, it smells closer to coffee than the soap. And it just, I really like it. It's a little bit thicker than some aftershaves. Um, is the soap the greatest soap I ever used? No, it's not. But it's not bad. Once I went ahead and when I did that second lather and you know didn't overwater it, it did great. So if you get the soap, be careful of the water or else you just might overload it. Even though after I mixed it up, I thought, oh, nice thick lather. But... It didn't stay um, as well as some others as far as you know um, staying on the face it thinned out pretty good um, but I was happy with the shave um, 
Like I said, you can get the soap and the aftershave at the Razor Club. Once again, welcome Jeff. Um, I hope you enjoy your time here on the channel. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's all. Y'all take it easy, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.